This is Pete from Great Lakes Makes, and today I wanted to film a short follow-up to my previous video about 3D printing accuracy. Uh, this time in metric, and this time I'll address some of the questions that I received in the comments. So I printed four samples. They're 10 by 10 millimeters and vary in length, 25 millimeters, 50 millimeters, 75 millimeters, and 100 millimeters in length. And then I measured the distance both in the width and the build height, as well as the overall length in order to try and understand the accuracy that the Monoprice Mini Select is capable of. So in thinking about accuracy, there's two types to consider in plastics. One is shrinkage, which is measured in millimeters per millimeter, and the other is machine program in steps per millimeter. In both cases, that should increase in length, and we would expect to be able to plot a trend across our length like this. So let's see how my results line up. Now I measured the width of all four and took the average and the average that I measured was 9.92 and I'll be plotting the difference between the measured result and what I intended. So 9.92 is a minus 0.08 millimeters. Uh, for the 25 millimeter I measured at a minus 0.6. Then it kind of flipped and instead of being short my parts came out long. So at 50 millimeters I was plus 0.02. At 75 plus 0.05 and at 100 plus 0 0.04. So if we draw, kind of sketch a line in here, we don't see that increasing linear trend that we would expect in a steps per millimeter error or a shrinkage. So we can deduce that this is probably the overall accuracy of the machine, and it's less than a tenth of a millimeter per part. If we switch over and talk about layer height, again, I measured all four parts in the layer height, and the average that I came up with was 9.90. So in addition to the machine tolerance, we need to think about the layer thickness. And the first layer that I used on these parts was 0.26 millimeters thick, which gives us a remaining of 9.64 millimeters in the part. The build layer height that I used was 0.21 millimeters, and if you divide that out, we get about 45 millimeter, or 45 layers which should have given a part thickness of 9.66. So if we subtract those two, we end up with a 0.02 millimeter error. In printing the part, there just isn't enough dimension left to add that other layer. Otherwise, we would have ended up with a 10.11 part. So the slicing software just stops. There's just not enough layer to build another. another. Um, so in thinking about overall tolerances, I'm still seeing less than a tenth of a millimeter in overall variation using my Monoprice Mini Select printer. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed these sort of 3D printing uh, studies and find them interesting. If so, hit that subscribe button. I put out videos every week. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.